Okay. Well, that's a very important realization because the communication of your deeper feelings is 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 is, 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 is not expressed there. It's like I. I'm going through a situation in the, the conversation which is really difficult for me and I express to you clearly that it's really difficult for me. Mm. And the response that I get from you about this difficulty is is zero empathy. Yeah, it's 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 uh it's the I have no control over it. I can't do it anyway. I can't I can't change anything about it. It's natural. Basically, it's like saying live with it get over get over it and i'm expressing to you something very personal for me that's making my life very complicated and and the response to that is get over it a lack of empathy is a complete inability to understand another person's pain and suffering i think that that's that's key to your communication with your students is if I'm feeling that if I'm it's not if I'm feeling it's I'm experiencing experiencing because this is the difference between the belief and the fact right my experience is that there's zero empathy being shown by your character at a point in time that's very very uh, difficult for me in the conversation now what would I expect? Let me tell you what I would expect. What would I ex- what I would expect was would be something like, "Oh my gosh, I'm really sorry. Uh, just give me a moment, and I'll fix it. Um, perhaps next time I'll make sure that something is done so that it doesn't happen again." That's what I would expect from a normal human being. What I'm saying is, this would be the correct response in that kind of situation it would be to it would be to oh my gosh how can i make this situation more comfortable and better for you not just live with it it's normal now my imagination of this is that when you were young there was uh, a lot of experiences that you had that were difficult and your parents just turned around to you and you said i just live with it it's normal what do you expect get over it or as people say man up in the modern world um which is just a way of completely washing over an experience which is emotionally painful or difficult for somebody else. And uh, students need to know that more than need to know. And the only way that students, the only way that students can know, is if they see it, right? Because remember, they're the ones without the life experience and you're the one with, with all the life experience so you know so much more than they do so students need to, to, to have that signal communicated to them visually and orally so that they feel comfortable because your response was was very cold during during those elements and I think that that's it, it, it's it's a default to a natural state because it's automatic for you. It's it's, it's automatic, and it, it's 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 part of your character. It's something that that's 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 been learned at a very early age and has been ingrained. And even though you perhaps inside feel empathy, I I, I don't know, but it's just not expressed. At that point in time, like there's a point in time in our conversation where I'm going through something really difficult, and the response from you is very cold at that moment. Yeah, when you don't acknowledge another person's pain in the conversation, it's like they don't exist. Mm. So if I'm communicating with with anyone and there's something that's very difficult for me to communicate and I, I express the fact, oh, you know, this is really difficult for me. I'm, I'm going through a really hard time and I don't get any empathy back from them at that point in time. It's like I don't exist. It's like I just told you my heart's been broken and you're like, eh, oh, okay, your heart got broken. Oh, whatever. Right. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's, um, it, it's, it's, it's a really touching point 
that is very important to recognize. It's really, it's very important to feel another person's pain. It's taken a while for it to filter through, though. And you even said yourself that later on you you felt like that that sound and that noise got you. But being able to understand the other person's experience in the conversation mm. is extremely important. And the there's a default that you have in the conversation, uh, which is to reflect back to to talking about yourself and authority. Whereas I think the correct approach would be to step forward and for you to say to me, can you tell me more about this? So rather than deflect off to something else or authority or or well, I think this, or I've had this experience. To to get more, there's an opportunity when a person opens themselves personally and talks about their pain or suffering in any way, at any level. It's an opportunity to deeply listen and connect with them and understand them better. And I think it's something that that been missing in our last few conversations from from your side it's just another little little example here of uh, of a different communication strategy that might have some benefit to it mm -hmm. and uh, it's worth keeping that in mind that uh, that I can see you're reflecting on it a little bit now which is which is very important and uh, it's it's frustrating when people point out elements of our character which are natural to us but come across as difficult to other people because we're so used to ourselves but at the same time it's still necessary like it's it's even difficult for me to convey it's difficult for me to communicate it to you in a way that gets the information across with, without me being offensive or offending you in any kind of way. But it's extremely important that I communicate it because it's something that I've really experienced and really felt. And I think that it's probably not just me who's experienced that. I think it's good to have the dogs around or to have children around because th these are the things that, that the animals and uh, especially dogs and especially dogs as an example we we we, we learn to reflect on the, the skills of empathy within ourselves we learn that with children we learn that around our friends as well and uh, it, 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 it's a good experience and I respect the uh, you know I, I respect that that option and that choice and and that's in that situation so uh and obviously it's it's a good idea to leave the door open so the dogs can can come in and go out as well no your dogs don't irritate me loud noises that stop me being able to do my work irritate me so um it's got nothing to do with your dogs i love dogs i'm allergic to dogs can't 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 be with them because I'm allergic to dog hair, but I still love them. Right, very very beautiful animals, and we can learn a lot from 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 having dogs dogs around. We can learn a lot about people from their dogs as well. That this is a huge element of uh, of uh, education that can take place. Uh, you know, the animal therapy. Right, you know, it's well known that uh, lots of animals can uh, help people recover from illnesses. So, so. Um, uh, you know, it's a, it, it's a, cl women over the age of 40 who don't have children always have cats or dogs. There's a very obvious reason for that. They need to replace the fact they don't have kids with care for something. Cats, dogs, some other kind of animal or something. Or even, or even other people's children. Like they sometimes spend a lot of time with other people's children because they don't have any children of their own. It's just it's one of those things in in, in life, the, the way that life is. So we can learn a lot about 
people from uh, from their animals, not just the animals, but how they treat them, their communication with them, um, their contact with them, how much they love them. And I can see that you have a lot of care for your for your dogs, and I, it's a beautiful thing. So your 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 dogs don't irritate me. You know, not showing empathy is because empathy was frowned upon at some point in the past. Mm. When you when you did show empathy, you were as a I, I imagine as a kid, if you showed empathy, you were punished in some way for that. You you, mm. you grew up believing that it was a, a negative expression or an expression of negative emotions. But the truth is, to develop trust, you know, empathy is one of those key elements. It's really important that the person that you're communicating with feels feels that you feel something, right? Because maybe you do feel it, but it's just not communicated. And then there's a communication problem because you don't understand why they react the way they do because you're already feeling it, but you're not communicating it to them. And they're wondering why you're not commu- why you're not feeling it, even though you are feeling it, because you haven't communicated it. Hence, communication problem. I've never yeah. thought about is it is that like a thing that's easier for men than women? I don't I I I don't really know. Um, maybe it's because I'm more comfortable in this mode of in this mode of communication. That comes from realizing that. Other people don't see things the way I see it because they don't have the experience the way I've had it. So I have to think about what experience have they had that will give them the same resulting conclusion that I come to. So, and that's that's part of the empathy in, in the conversation. It's, uh, the, the feeling I have is that you don't connect with people as much as you want to connect with them. That's that's the the feeling that that I get is is that is is that, that there's your emotional side is 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 held back in 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 some way, mm-hmm. uh, an, an inability to. I don't know if it's an inability to express or a fear to express or a repressed element. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like a, there's, there's, you know, there's human personality and psych, psychology is a massive topic. So, um, so I, I, I don't know quite what it is. I don't have enough. I still don't have enough information to make any kind of observation about that yet. But um, uh, when someone gets to know you, you get to see the lighter side of you, the 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 uh, the the sort of inner spirit kind of side, but it's really hard the first couple of meetings. You know, it's I I I, I don't know I don't I notice it in people when this is this is not about you this is you this is just a general observation in society that um, some people are just more relaxed with themselves than others. These people can often be very frustrating to characters like like myself or yourself because they seem to have solved issues that maybe we still have to deal with, mm. and, uh, and so so there's 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 definitely um, not that open, relaxed e- expressiveness within mm. within the characters. So. Um, I don't, and I don't. It's it's not necessarily a bad thing, right? Because it, because each each thing has its advantage and disadvantage.